What's up, everybody? It's Andy with LightenUpAndShoot.com. And today for Two Minute Tuesdays, yes, we got a little bit sidetracked, but I'm going to bring it back. Uh, I have a really cool treat for you. It's called White Balancing with Eyeballs. And the reason I wanted to show you guys this is because many times you're going to take an image, it's going to have a slight overcast of a red or a green or a cyan or a blue or who knows what color. It's just going to have a weird color shift and you are not going to have a gray reference point to be able to just click your magic eyedropper tool or something. So I'm going to show you how to find that. In this image, the only gray area of this image is her eyeballs. So we are actually going to use that to white balance this image. The first thing we do is we make a copy of the background layer. Control J on a PC, Command J on a Mac. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to her eyeballs just about there that's pretty good and I'm gonna click F8 F8 will bring up my info palette if you don't want to click F8 you can just go up to window and go to info and it's gonna pop up this window this window works with the eyedropper tool the eyedropper tool is right over here your shortcut is I the letter I as in Indian you're gonna click on that and wherever you drag your eyedropper tool, you're going to see that these colors up here change because it's taking a sample of what it's going over. All right, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The one thing you should change is that Photoshop by default up here will be set up on point sample. I don't like point sample because point sample is just too small of a section for me. So the larger my image is, the higher my average I want it to be. In this case, it's a very low resolution image, so I'm going to choose 3x3, three three, but normally I'm anywhere between 5x5 five five or 11x11. 11 11, okay? Those of you with Hasselblad, you could go a little bit higher, but uh, for us normal folks, 5x5, 11x11. Five five, 11 11. Okay, so I'm going to click 3x3. Three three. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my eye right up here on this red, green, and blue, and I'm going to search for a point on my image or in our eyeballs. That is, these numbers are going to be as close to 128 as possible. And I only need two of them to be very close. The third one can be really far off. It does not matter. Okay? So, we're going to go over her eyeball, which it looks like a little gray area. And I'm going to scan until I find one. And look at this. I found 134 red, 130 green, and 164 blue. I only need two that are around... 128 and this will work really well so what I want to do is I want to hold the shift key and you're gonna see that my icon changes and I click and it's going to mark a spot with this little thing here that tells me exactly where that spot was so if you see up here there's a number one and there's a number one here that means that this are my values of these pixels here 134 130 164 I'm really happy with 134 and 130 that's very close to 128 good enough for me next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to my adjustment layer and I'm gonna click on this and go to curves I love curves and the curves dialog box is gonna open all right and we're gonna have three eyedroppers black point gray point and white point we are gonna concentrate just on this gray point we're gonna click it and you're going to see it's going to look like it's pushed in. And we're going to drag it over right to where that one is. And Photoshop will snap it right into place right on right in the middle. And you're going to click. And once you click, miracles will happen. So let's click. You can immediately see the uh, color change. Let's zoom out by double-clicking on the hand. And this, boys and girls, is my before and my after. And that is pretty well balanced. I can always go in and fine tune by going into some of these channels if I really want to. Like, for example, this is just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit too green. So I'm going to go to my green channel. I'm going to click. See how it's got a little, little ball here? I'm going to click on that just once. And with my arrow keys, I'm just going to push down because I want to get rid of it just a little bit. And there is my perfect correction before... And after, how to fix white balance with the eyeballs.